the magic of repetition. In my mind, the most not talked about thing about actualizing, manifesting in any form of um, creative alchemy is repetition. It's kind of magic's dirty little secret. We forget sometimes that in the creation of our lives, what is repeated the most is most visible. We're all mighty creators, but by constant repetition of our limitations, constant repetition of our frailties, and constant repetition of limiting beliefs, we act and feel far from the mighty creators we started out as. The subconscious is accessed and programmed by repetition. If we aren't consciously programming our subconscious, then the rest of our experience will program it for us. And because conditions in our life came about through repetition of viewpoints, conclusions, choices, and judgments, we're going to be experiencing pretty much the same thing from day to day. The subconscious can be visualized as a vast array of off-on switches. And these off-on switches are in circuit with the DNA of our genes. The important thing to know is that these switches require the repetition of an exact command in order to be switched on or off. A command is formed by our choice. If we choose to accept to, or create a certain point of view or feeling, for example, I'm just not good enough to get what I desire, this conclusion becomes active. When this happens, the mind begins to look for corroborating evidence of its truth. When the evidence is found, as it invariably is, this acts as an amplifier for that initial choice of, I'm just not good enough to get what I want. Now, repeat this enough times, and the subconscious adds this switch to its vast array. And soon, the experience of not being good enough goes on automatic adding yet another layer to the subconscious programming. The conscious mind now begins to observe all sorts of ways this I'm not good enough command is true in life. And without any countering commands, it just keeps getting reinforced. And soon, our life experience is a miserable downward spiral. That's why when we choose to change our life into something exciting and worth living, all the reasons why that can't happen immediately show up. This is the switch that we had previously carefully and skillfully installed. Now it becomes a matter of repeating that choice over and over until the subconscious program is overwritten. That switch is turned off and a new switch is turned on called My Life is Exciting and Worth Living. The complicating factor, of course, is ego. Our sense of self has a dark side that basically campaigns for the subconscious. Whatever the dominant program is that is running in the subconscious, for the moment, the ego owns it, makes it personal, and defends it. That's why after we've made a big choice to change, experiences will come up that seem to invalidate that choice, and then we take it personally. Well, that's the dark ego coming up. The trick is to get the ego on your side. Get it to be a cheerleader for your positive choices. We can do that by simply noticing that the sheer act of making the choice to change caused the experience of the opposite. If we frame those negative experiences as progress and are, as a result, encouraged, the ego will soon jump on board and start telling you how great it's all going. I've been studying with a powerful shaman lately, and she keeps repeating, why would you continue to choose to feel bad about your circumstances after you have already chosen the circumstances you desire? Hmm, good point. And it has everything to do with training the conscious mind to train the subconscious mind toward what we truly desire. So it all boils down to choice and repetition, folks. Pretty damn simple, actually. Although some would argue simple is not easy, and this is true at first. 
The hard part is feeling those old feelings that jump up to try to reinforce the program you are choosing to change. And the ego is taking it personally, before it switches over to your side, of course. At a certain point, after much repetition, these feelings and experiences fade away and are replaced by the joy and ease you are choosing. It's a process. Enjoy it. And the magic is soon to follow. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.